Ja, hallo, gerade Bildschirm. Es lädt, es lädt, es lädt. Ganz schön lang. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. Mira Forster. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I... I know. I... I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say... what I told you about my... family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. Wir sollten zusammenhalten. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. Wir müssen, wir müssen zu ihm gehen. What are you doing here? Oh no, I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Du hast mein Leben gerettet. Look, that night, I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't helped me. Well, I could say the same to you, Lady Mira. But I came here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about Shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe with him, girl, or either of us. Who are they questioning? Do they know about me? I don't think so. But why would they have any reason to? Anyway. He'll never show up again to tell them. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. There was another Lannister guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, oh no. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Danke. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's it's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still someone out there who saw you with a dead man. And I don't Mira. My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Can we just keep it between us? I prefer nobody knows. Of course. That's what friends do. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have.
and I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamir? I trust you've chosen all the standards, but just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, The then... king's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. Clearly, she still hasn't learned respect for the crown. You won't like that so much when you're the one wearing it. In any case, it's settled. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that, you and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shed some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Meine Familie ist verzweifelt. My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. <sighs> Verdammt. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. Ich werde es tun. I promise I won't speak to him again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Wir können unsere Familie nur von King's Landing aus helfen. White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. Hmm. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. Mich darum. Don't worry, Charlie. I'll deal with them. Hurry. I'll check on Mother. Dieser Bastard benimmt sich wie die Tiere. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> Hört sofort mit dem Scheiß auf. This ends now. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill. 
fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, hey? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognise you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> ich bin der Lord von Iron Wrath. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Iron Wrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live. I don't care if you're happy or not, you'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You can't immer nach you Hause club. gehen. If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever. We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. <sighs> no. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't let them do this. Es ist so weit. Wir können sie nicht weiter passieren lassen. You can't go in there. Wir halten sie auf. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. <lacht> Somit ist der Konflikt unausweichlich geworden. Wir müssen kämpfen. Griff Whitehill. That snot nose fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. I'm no fool. I've seen the soldiers in our halls, and Whitehill's runt is at the front of the pack. So don't act as if I don't know how bad it is. Of course not, my lord. <laughs> But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't for 
forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Was machen wir jetzt? Bald wir uns hier auflehnen, wird Ryan dafür bezahlen. Doch wenn wir probieren, Ryan zu schützen, wird unser Volk hier weiterhin leiden. Uns bleibt nichts anderes übrig. Wir müssen es riskieren, dass Ryan etwas passiert. Denn nur so können wir hier zumindest allen Iron Rev vor beschützen dass hier ein weiter Leid zugefügt wird. Wir können uns nicht weiter bücken. Und wenn Ryan stirbt, das ist ein Opfer, das gebracht werden muss. Jetzt geht es darum, vor allen Dingen das Volk von Iron Rev zu schützen und nicht nur das Haus Forrester. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Iron Rath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd got him and leave him at our Sie gates. Ihm tun. The White Hills know that harming Ryan, killing Ryan, would mean war. There is no turning back from that. We must secure Ironrath, so we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. Then, it's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitals are already fortified inside Ironrath. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitel will kindly stand by we have come and we together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter. The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. I understand your hesitation. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes. <laughs> 